Sunday is, of course, Father's Day. And while being a parent can be a huge challenge, for some, the path to becoming one is difficult and complicated on its own. So tonight, in celebration of Pride Month and Father's Day, meet three couples who've been waiting for years to become dads. Father's Day is going to be a big day because in my family, I lost my parents early. And so I haven't celebrated it in a long time. In Shoreline, Washington, Jamie Ward and Ian Wong's dream came true this year. They became dads to baby Diana, now two months old. I didn't think it would be possible to become a father until I met Jamie. The day I became a dad was just a day of indescribable joy. It was the moment we waited for, for a very long time. The family's journey, seven years in the making. Uh, there were failed uh, IVF cycles. We also waited a while for a surrogate, and we never stopped. We kept going. I keep telling people, I don't know why I'm so emotional, but I'm very emotional around her. I, I really love her so much. It feels like your heart is almost outside of your body. I mean, it's a love that I don't think can be explained. Ralph and Justin Bernardo also celebrating their first Father's Day this year with son Lorenzo. I think as gay men, we all at some point think of fatherhood is, is even possible. This has been a journey that Justin and I have been going through for just over five years now. Baby Lorenzo born last month. Well, to be honest, the first 15 seconds were pure terror, but that quickly goes away and it just becomes pure joy. The hardest thing for me was Lorenzo was actually supposed to be a twin and we lost the second embryo around 20 weeks. We had picked out names. Um, so it, it was emotional. The couple says the support of family and friends got them through it. It's been a long process, a roller coaster in every sense of the word. I actually have to share Father's Day with this guy. <laughs> so. In Raleigh, North Carolina, J.P. Parker and Is Flores are celebrating their second Father's Day this year with their triplet sons, Adrian, Albert, and Alexander. Being able to actually become a dad has been an incredible feeling. I was always afraid that if I came out, I may not have a family. I always wanted to be a dad. Did I ever imagine? Uh, no. The couple's three boys born in July 2019. The day we became fathers, we were in tears and we were just overjoyed with the fact that this actually happened. It, it took a lot of planning and saving, but at the end of the day, the things that we value the most in life are a little bit harder to get, but they are the ones that we cherish. Their advice to others struggling to start a family? There's adoption, there's fostering, there's surrogacy. It's not easy, but it is absolutely possible. Don't wait for the perfect time because it doesn't exist. I myself am adopted and uh, my parents saved me. And I want people to know you will find love and you can do this. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.